Hey lovelies, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Yasmin. Thank you so much for being here. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing another tea time slash wine time video, but today gonna to be a little different. I'm gonna be doing it about zodiac signs. And if you know me personally, you know I'm obsessed with zodiac signs. I love to talk about them. And I am the annoying person that asks, what's your sign every time I meet somebody new? So that is me. That, that annoying person. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so it's gonna be a little different than my other tea time um, videos. If you are new and haven't seen them before, um, I do have other ones on my channel. I have tea time on my paranormal experiences, on my exes, on shoplifters. I have different ones. So if you have not yet, go ahead and hit subscribe. So you guys can go check those out as well. Um, I do post make makeup videos as well and videos like this and just different videos here and there. But um, yeah, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit a, a subscribe button before you go. But anyways, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with this video. I'm so excited. And of course today I do have my glass of wine with me today. I said today twice. How annoying. But um, I guess we're just going to go ahead and get started. So pretty much what I'm going to do, I was going to lightly talk about each zodiac sign and kind of like the general idea of how each zodiac sign is, like the personality, um, how they think and things like that. Um, I have met a good amount of each of a zodiac sign, you know what I mean? But for me, I am a Libra. So... I obviously have a lot of things to say about Libras because I am one. I've met a lot of Libras. Um, I live with one. <laughs> Mark is also a Libra. So we, there's a lot of things that Libras just, just, you know, but anyways, um, while you're watching this video, please let me know down below in the comments what zodiac sign you are and we could talk about it or which one you think is the best, which one you think is the worst, because I think that'll be a great topic. But anyways, let's go ahead. So let's start with mine. I am a Libra. So Libras are typically born from September 23rd through October 2nd. Um, I made sure to read that just so I was correct. Let me know if I'm wrong. But those are Libras. And we are air signs. Um, I know a lot of things about Libras. Um, I know like the top things that you will hear about Libras is that they're very indecisive. Don't like confrontation. Um, we, yeah. So I can definitely say yes, that is true because Mark and I are the worst. Like, do you know how hard it is for two Libras to figure out where they want to eat like you know that meme where it's just like oh where do you want to eat like you know that whole argument that like couples have that's me and mark because we're both libras we can never decide anything and it's so awful like it's so annoying unless we're truly truly like 150 percent which is very rare know what we want we don't know so it's very rare for for us libras to know what we want <laughs> like in anything in general like i don't even know what lip color i want to put for the day because i have so many and i don't know and i get frustrated like i literally panic when I have to choose between something and I just decide not to do anything at all like I don't like doing it I think that also comes with confrontation I don't like confrontation like if somebody at a restaurant were to give me the wrong meal and they gave it to me so happily and so excitedly I would not tell them hey this is not my meal because I don't want to I don't want to deal with it so <laughs> I don't I'm just gonna be like you know what it's fine I don't care <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell them anything and that that's just me and I hate that but I mean, I don't like, I don't like it. I want things to be okay for everyone and everything. I like things balanced and I don't like to, you know, I don't like making things bigger than they are. I just want everything to be chill. So I don't have to deal with anything. Um, we also dislike um, anything that makes us uncomfortable. I hate that. Uh, that also go, it goes back to the whole um, confrontation thing. I don't like things that make me really uncomfortable. I just want to get out. I don't like it at all. I guess it has to help with, that doesn't help to have anxiety either. And we also don't like violence, which is very true. I do not like violence. I do not like being around it. Like if somebody's in a fight or something, I don't like being around it. It's not my favorite thing. It makes me very uncomfortable. I just want to go crawl away and hide. Like, I don't like that stuff. Um, I have gone through my moments where, you know, I wanted to get violent with people, but I overall do not like being around it it's not my cup of tea and doesn't help my anxiety either so overall libras are very loving and genuine and gentle people we are very sensitive but we're also love really hard we're definitely lovers i think we're like the lovers of the, the of, all, of all the signs we are definitely the most romantic ones the ones that love attention crave attention we just want it all around us we love that kind of stuff but i've never met a libra that i don't like except my one of my exes that doesn't count but anyways um, I don't think I've ever met a Libra that I didn't like. I mean, one of my best friends is a Libra. Hi, Andres, if you're watching. Um, you're also a Libra, by the way. Totally forgot. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, Mark, by the way, is, is the same as me. Um, you know, same ideas that doesn't like conversation, things like that. Obviously, if you try to fuck with us and that's different, then we're going to push our shit, shit aside and deal with it. But um, overall, I love Libras. I mean, we're cool. We're chilling. We're just vibing. We're not out there like starting a riot or anything or like trying to fight people. No, we're just chill people. All right, so now we're going to start at the very beginning of the Zodiac. So I have Aquarius. Aquarius is January 20th through February 18th are Aquariuses. And let me tell you, this is going to sound really bad, okay? Aquariuses drive me insane. 
Okay. <laughs> they drive me crazy. I know five of them. Five. My mom, my brother, one of Mark's best friends, one of my best friends. And then I know there's another one. I know another Aquarius. I just can't think of who it is, but I know another one. I, I think I know like two more of them. But um, yeah, so Aquarius is driving me <laughs> insane. I love them. They're so much fun. They're really, really fun to hang out with. Fun people. Um, they're very, I, it's just, when it comes to an Aquarius, it's really hard to argue with them or to put a point across because they're always right. An Aquarius can never be wrong. We live in their world. The, the world doesn't revolve around them. Like they are in control. Okay, that's why I dislike Aquarius because they're such divas sometimes that it drives me insane. And my friends and my mom and my brother are exactly the same way. Like they're always right. Like even though you know that you're right, even though they know that they're wrong, they will not admit it. They will just turn the whole thing around and make it some other thing. And that drives me insane. Insane. Although they drive me crazy, I think Aquariuses are make amazing friends. They're great listeners. They don't like being alone. They're, they're a lot of fun. They're very friendly. Um, you just can't get an argument with them, man. You just can't because you're not going to win. That's something you can't win. Like I remember when um, my uh, when uh, Mark's best friend came and he's an Aquarius and my brother and they were over here like trying to have an argument, but they're going back and forth, back and forth. And I just what was like, you guys know you're both Aquariuses, right? So you guys are going to be here forever trying to figure this out. So we're going to go and you just need to like... Just say, you know what, you're both Aquariuses, you're both gonna not, this, you're not, 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 not gonna agree with any of this, okay? So, still, I love them, but they drive me crazy. <laughs> Next sign we have is Pisces. So Pisces, I think it's February, I'm gonna assume 2021st, I don't really know, through March 20th. Pisces, I do know two of them, I work with one, and then um, one of my friends is also a Pisces, and oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so Pisces, I love them. They are... They are very selfless. They will go to the moon and back for you. Like they want to do every, everything in their power to help you. They're, they love to help people. Um, they're very compassionate. They're just very sweet people, but they have so many weaknesses. And I'm not saying it in a bad way, but I'm just saying like some things about Pisces, it's kind of it's kind of easy to take advantage of a Pisces, which is so unfortunate because they, they're, they're literally very loyal signs. They want to do everything for you, especially if you're like your friend. If they're like your friend, they want to do all, they want to help you. And it's just really sad. <laughs> they can be very fearful and overly trusting for sure. Like they will trust anyone, which is kind of sad because that's where the whole um, taking advantage of, the, of them kind of takes effect, which is so upsetting. But they truly like to help people, which is, you know, I, I just hate that they have to do that to Pisces. Overall, a Pisces is a great friend to have because of that quality where they'll go, they'll go above and beyond for you. Um, just, you know, Pisces, don't take advantage of that. Don't take advantage of their selflessness. They're very nice people. Next time we have is Aries, which is March 21st through April 19th. I don't think I've met an Aries before. Do I know an Aries? Oh my God, I think my aunt is an Aries. That explains a lot. So Aries is like what, like that bitch. They're very confident, they're determined. They are there and they will let you know they're gonna get things done. They are like, get in my way. This is, this is my thing, I'm gonna get it done watch me do it. You know, that, that kind of a person, they're very strong. Um, they just are very short tempered. <laughs> they're short tempered. Um, so you don't want to mess with them. They're very impulsive and they can be aggressive. But besides that, Aries make great leaders, man. Like they're there and they're there to take over and they're going to get it done, you know? And that's a great thing to have, especially if you're like out here trying to find work and stuff. You're trying to be a manager. Like if we can have all managers, Aries, like they're just like these big balls of energy that want to take over the world, you know? And I love that. I don't think I've really met an Aries. I think my aunt is an Aries, but uh, I don't have any friends that are Aries and I don't work with one. But I would like to, to, you know, I think they're the type of sign that will definitely get me out of my shell because of how much energy they have. So that'd be pretty cool. We do have a Taurus and I know one Taurus. I, I do work with one, but I don't really know much about a Taurus. But I know that they're very, um, they're very stable people. They can be very patient. But the one trait that I know Tauruses are for sure are very stubborn, possessive. They're very, very stubborn. I think they're like the most stubborn zodiac signs besides an Aquarius. But <laughs> Taurus, they're very stubborn um, people. I know, I know Tauruses can be really stubborn, but they can also be like, you can also rely on them, you know, like as a friend or as a partner. Um, they're very responsible when it comes to that thing. I don't know much about them, but that's all I know. If you are a Taurus, let me know what else. That's like the only trait I know. 
is that they're stubborn. Next up we have Gemini. I know a couple Gemini's females. I think I I think my first boyfriend was a Gemini guy, which obviously if he's an ex, that didn't work out very well. But I don't quite remember. The one thing about Gemini's that everyone talks about is that they have two different personalities, either the good kind or the bad kind. Like they can be really happy and friendly and social one minute and then the next they get really serious. So you don't always get the same person, you know? It just depends on who you are and how and how they get along with you. Um, I think that's why people don't like Gemini's that much. But I mean, I don't think I've ever met a Gemini I don't like. They are very like blunt though. So if you can't handle it, then you know, then you got to scoot your cooch, you know, but, um, the, yeah, so you're, you're either going to get one side or the other. I mean, I know Gemini's can be like that, but I don't think that they're bad signs. Everybody has a bad, like Gemini's have such a bad rep. I don't think I've ever met a bad Gemini before. Next up we have cancer and I do know, I know two cancers actually. Um, but the cancer that I first met, I used to work with her in, in Rue. They're supposed to be very, very sensitive signs. Like, overly emotional like they will cry for everything because they're they're just very into like their emotions very emotional um but the one that i met she wasn't that emotional which is so weird i mean she she, she could be but she gave me like strong like aries leo vibes like very like i'm confident i'm here i'm gonna get this shit done but i don't know if she like goes and cries at night i don't, I don't know like i feel like cancer is the, i don't know they that's the one cancer that i met that i don't know that 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 kind of threw me off, you know, because it's just like, I'm like so confident in the personalities of signs that when I saw her and I met her, I'm just like, are you sure you're a Cancer? <laughs> are you sure? Because <laughs> next up we have Leo. I've never met a Leo before, but they seem like really fun people. <laughs> They're, um, they, they, although they are very stubborn people, they are very happy, cheerful, um, very passionate people. And that seems like great quality, uh, like a great quality to have. Um, they're also very like they're very sweet people um, the one thing that of course you have to give them attention and if you don't treat them like they're on top of the world then they're gonna want to shoot you away you know like they want to be put on a pedestal you know like they want to be there and they want you to kiss their shoes you know <laughs> like that like that's what Leos want but they're very passionate people they're very loving people very sweet people um never met a Leo before but I love Leo vibes like I feel like anybody who I've seen that's a Leo it's like they, they give me they give me great vibes, you know? I think Bretman Rock is a, is, is a Leo. I think that's what he said. And he gives me Leo vibes for sure. Oh my God, onto my favorite signs. So literally, Virgo is the next one. Virgos are my favorite. I like, if I can name any sign that's like my favorite, I would say, well, one of my favorites, I would say is a Virgo. Um, I have two friends that are Virgos and I freaking love them. Like they are amazing. Like they, I can't even say so many good things. They are so much fun. They're very loyal. They're very kind and hardworking people. Obviously very organized, very clean people. Um, they do have a couple weaknesses though. Like they're always in their head a lot. Like they're very, like they overthink a lot. They're very critical about the things that they do or they say. They obviously they think before they speak. They do that a lot because they really have to get things organized in their brain before they can speak. But they're very, oh, I, I love Virgos either way. Like they're a lot of fun. They're not very like, um, they're not confrontational at all. Like they're just chilling and living their own life. Obviously you don't want to get in their face, but because they don't like rude people at all. But when you're out having fun with them, like they're so chill. Like they're like the most fun signs I've ever met. Now we have Scorpio. I like Scorpios. I know one in particular. Hi, Martha. You're probably not watching this, but you're a Scorpio. Um, I do like Scorpios. Um, Scorpios are very passionate people. They're very blunt. They're very honest. So I think that's why a lot of them like them as friends. Cause they, I mean, if you can handle, if you can handle it, um, they're very honest with everything that they will tell you. But the one time you mess up and you lie and they sense any anything like that that's kind of shady, they will be vocal about it. But if you literally like stab them in the back or not loyal to them or not honest to them, they just cut you off like that. They do not have any, no tolerance for dishonesty whatsoever. Like they do not care for it. They do not, they do not like that. And they will cut you off literally in a split second. Capricorns. Um, I only met one Capricorn and he is very, was very, very, very quiet. He's a very quiet Capricorn. They're not very like violent or anything like that. Um, they're very well mannered, pretty quiet people. I don't really know about them. Um, and, and I guess another thing would be charming. I don't, I don't really know a lot about Capricorns. Again, if you're a Capricorn, let me know if there's any traits or anything like that that you know about, about Capricorns. I don't really know a lot about them, but I, I I'll probably read more on it because it's a very a general, like, well-mannered, responsible, quiet, um, you know, controlled, 
common collected people. Finally, we have the last sign, which is a Sagittarius. Literally, I know a lot of Sagittariuses. They're literally one of my favorite signs as well as Virgo, but I love Sagittariuses. Um, I do have a Sagittarius moon. So I do have some qualities of Sagittarius, but I love them. They're so, so fun. They're, they have a lot of energy. They're really fun people. They're very, they're, they're very extroverts. Um, when it comes to, you know, being social and stuff, they're a lot like, extra, they're very extrovert. Like they have, they're, they're really funny. Um, the one thing that, I, well, not one thing, but I know that they have a couple weaknesses. Like, um, they're very impatient. They can be very impatient. <laughs> one thing that I do like about us, I'm going to say us because I have a Sagittarius moon, but, um, we're very independent people, which is really good because, um, we don't need anyone. We can get things done on our own. And even though that can be kind of a bad thing, especially uh, us asking for help, it's kind of hard to ask for help, but they're very independent. Like, Hey, let's go. They want to be free. They want to do, they are very free when it comes to the way they think, the way they do things. They're very like, yeah, like nonchalant. Like, yeah, let's do this. Oh, let's do that. They want to try everything and they're fun. They're funny. And they're just, they have a lot of energy. Like they're really fun people. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down below and let me know what sign you are and what sign's your favorite and which one you dislike the most. Of course, we're not here trying to hate it on each other, of course. But I genuinely want to know what signs you guys are. Let me know other um, facts about your sign. Maybe it's something that I didn't mention. Um, also, if you're a Libra, hi. Let me know if you're Libra gang, please. <laughs> yeah, that's everything from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button if you guys haven't already so I can continue to make tea time videos for you guys. But anyways, um, that's everything from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!